In this video, we are going to cover the interface of LightWave 3D Modeler. The menus of LightWave are grouped by the tabs across the top of the interface. They are grouped according to similar functions and are shown on the left side of the interface. The upper left group in the menu is persistent. It does not change regardless of what tab you are in. Tool buttons highlight when active. Mode buttons stay highlighted to indicate what mode you are in. Buttons also have their keyboard shortcut on them. A caret is the control key, the plus sign is the shift, and the asterisk is the alt key. An arrow pointing downward on any button indicates that it is a menu and that more options will appear when left clicked and held. The boxes in the upper right corner are layers. A fully highlighted box is in the foreground, a partial is in the background. A layer with a dot has data in it, and an empty layer is an empty box. To the right of the layers bank is a menu for dealing with layout through the hub. The viewports have their view in the title bar, and their style is in the menu to the right. The icons for controlling the view is in the upper right corner of the viewport. Along the bottom of the interface is the AC or Action Center modes. A toggle for symmetry and the current selected style for subpatch objects. Fast buttons for the numeric panel, commands for changing surface, dropping an active tool, dropping and resetting selections, and undo and redo round that out. To the far right corner are the VMAP controls, weight, texture, morph, color, and selection. Please see the documentation for more information on specific tools.